There is no fear, as perfect love casteth out all fear. Today I permit love to keep me in perfect harmony and peace with all levels of my world. My thoughts are loving, kind, and harmonious. I sense my oneness with God, for in Him I live, move, and have my being. I know that all my desires will be realized in perfect order and in perfect harmony. I trust the divine law within me to bring my ideals to pass. The Father doeth the works. I am divine, spiritual, joyous, and absolutely fearless. I am now surrounded by the perfect peace of God. It is the peace of God which passeth all understanding. I now place all my attention on all the things desired. I love these desires and with these affirmations, I give them my whole hearted attention. My spirit is lifted into the mood of confidence and peace. This is the spirit of God moving in me. It gives me a sense of peace, security, and rest. Truly, perfect love casteth out all fear. Consider the lilies of the field. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed as one of these. I know that God is prospering me in all ways like the lily. I am now leading the abundant life because I know the abundant life and believe in a God of abundance. I am supplied with everything that contributes to my beauty, my well-being, my health, my love, and progress and peace. I am daily experiencing the fruits of the Spirit of God within me. I accept and receive my good now. I walk in the light that all good is here for me and is mine now. I am peaceful, poised, serene, and calm. I am one with the source of all life, my creator. All my needs are met at every moment of time and every point of space. I now bring all the empty vessels to the Father within. The fullness of God is made manifest in all the departments of my life. All that the Father hath is mine. I rejoice and know that this is so always. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. I know that the inner desires of my heart come from God within me. God wants me to be happy. The will of God for me is life, love, truth, beauty, and complete abundance. I mentally accept my good now, and I become a perfect channel for the divine to fill my pots. I come into this presence singing. I enter into his courts with praise. I am joyful and happy. I am still and poised. The still small voice whispers in my ear, revealing to me my perfect answers. I am an expression of God, our divine creator. I am always in my true place, doing the thing I love to do and that I was sent to do by our divine creator, God. I refuse to accept the opinions of man as truth. They are not my truth. Only God is my truth. 
I now turn within and sense and feel the rhythm of the divine. I hear the melody of God whispering its messages of love to me. My mind is God's mind, and I'm always reflecting divine wisdom and divine intelligence. My brain symbolizes my capacity to think wisely and spiritually always. God's ideas unfold within my mind with perfect sequence. I am always poised, balanced, serene, and calm, for I know that God will always reveal to me the perfect solution to all my needs, always. Thank you, Father. We are one. I now dwell on the omnipresence and on the omni-action of God. I know that this infinite wisdom guides the planets on their courses. I know the same divine intelligence governs and directs all of my affairs. I claim and believe divine understanding is mine at all times. I know that all my activities are controlled by this indwelling presence. All of my motives are godlike and true. God's wisdom, truth, and beauty are being expressed by me at all times. The all-knowing one within me knows what to do and how to do it. My business and profession is completely controlled governed, and directed by the love of God. Divine guidance is mine. I know God's answer for my mind is at peace. I rest in the everlasting arms of our almighty creator God and I am grateful. Where there is no vision, the people perish. My vision is that I desire to know more of God and the way he works. My vision is the perfect health, harmony, and peace. My vision is the inner faith that infinite spirit leads and guides me now and always. I know and believe that the God power within me answers all of my prayers. This is a deep conviction within me. I know that the mental picture to which I remain faithful will be developed in my subconscious mind and come forth on the screen of real time now. I make it my daily practice to imagine for myself and others only that which is noble wonderful and godlike. I now imagine that I am doing the thing I long to do. I imagine that I now possess the things I long to possess. I imagine I am what I long to be. To make it real, I feel the reality of it. I know that it is so. Thank you, Father. You and I are one. I radiate goodwill to all mankind. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Creator, God. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. This is my own mind. All the thoughts entertained by me conform to harmony, peace, abundance, and goodwill. My mind is a dwelling place of happiness, joy, and a deep sense of security. All the thoughts that enter my mind contribute to my joy, peace, health, and general welfare. I live, move, and have my being in the atmosphere of good fellowship, love, and unity. We are one. All the people that dwell in my mind are God's children. I am at peace in my mind with all the members of my household and all of mankind. 
the same good I wish for myself, I wish for all men on earth. I am living in the house of God now. I claim peace and happiness, for I know that I dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Thank you to God always. I restore perfect health unto thee, and I heal thee of all thy wounds, saith the Lord. The God in me has limitless possibilities. I know that all things are possible with God. I believe this and accept this wholeheartedly now, and it comes to me in avalanches. I know that God's power in me makes darkness light and crooked things straight. I am now lifted up in consciousness by contemplating that God indwells within me. I speak the word now for the healing of mind, body, and all affairs. I know that this principle within me responds to my faith and trust. The Father doeth the works. I am now in touch with life, peace, power, love, truth, and beauty within me. I now align myself with the infinite principle of love and life within me. I know that harmony, health, and peace are now being expressed in my body. As I live, move, and act in the assumption of my perfect health, it becomes actual now and always. I now imagine and sealed the reality of my perfect body. I am filled with a sense of peace and well-being always. Thank you to our divine creator, our Father. Today, I am reborn spiritually. I completely detach myself from the old way of thinking and I bring divine love, light, and truth defini- definitely into my experience. I consciously feel all ye are brethren, for one is your father. I always bring harmony, peace, and joy into every situation and into all of my personal relationships. I know, believe, and claim that the peace of God reigns supreme in the mind and heart of everyone in my home and everyone in my business and everyone I come into contact with. No matter what the problem is, I always maintain peace, poise, patience, and wisdom. I fully and freely forgive everyone, regardless of what they may have said or done. I cast all my burdens on the God self within. I go free now and always. This is a marvelous feeling. I know that blessings come to me as I forgive. I see the angel of God's presence behind every problem or difficult situation. I know the solution is there and that everyone and everything is working out in divine order. I trust the God presence implicitly. It has the know-how of accomplishment. The absolute order of heaven and his absolute wisdom are acting through me now and at all times. I know that order is heaven's first law. My mind is now fixed joyously and expectantly on this perfect harmony. I know the result is the inevitable perfect solution. My answer is God's answer. It is divine, for it is the melody of God's broadcast. And we are one. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father. There is no fear, as perfect love casts out all fear. Today, I permit love to keep me in perfect harmony and peace with all levels of my world. My thoughts are loving, kind, and harmonious. I sense my oneness with God, for in Him I live, move, and have my being. I know that all my desires will be realized in perfect order. 
I trust the divine law within me to bring my ideals to pass. The Father doeth the works. I am divine, spiritual, joyous, and absolutely fearless. I am now surrounded by the perfect peace of God. It is a peace of God which passes all understanding. I now place all of my attention on the thing that I desire. I love this desire and give it my wholehearted attention. My spirit is lifted into the mood of confidence and peace. This is the spirit of God moving in me. It gives me a sense of peace, security, and rest. Truly, perfect love casts out all fear. All is peace and harmony in my world. For God in me is the Lord of peace. I am the consciousness of God in action. I am always at peace. My mind is poised, serene, and calm in this atmosphere of peace and goodwill, which surrounds me entirely. I feel a deep abiding strength and freedom from all fear. I now sense and feel the love and beauty of his holy presence. Day by day, I am more aware of God's love. All that is false falls away. I see God personified in all people. I know that as I allow this inner peace to flow through my being, all problems are solved. I dwell in God. Therefore, I rest in the eternal arms of peace. My life is a life of God. My peace is a deep, unchanging peace of God. It is the peace of God which passes all understanding. And I am grateful. Thank you. I know that my good is this very moment. I believe in my heart that I can prophesy for myself harmony, health, peace, and joy. I enthrone the concept of peace, success, and prosperity in my mind now and always. I know and believe these thoughts will grow and manifest themselves in my experience to live. I am the gardener. As I sow, so shall I reap. I sow godlike thoughts, these wonderful seeds of peace, success, harmony, and goodwill. It is a wonderful harvest. From this moment forward, I am depositing in the universal bank or my subconscious mind the seeds or thoughts of peace, confidence, poise, balance, and absolute wealth. I am drawing out the fruit of the wonderful seeds I am depositing. I believe and accept the fact that my desire is a seed deposited in the subconscious. I make it real by feeling the reality of it. I accept the reality of my desire in the same manner I accept the fact that the seed deposited in the ground will grow. I know it grows in the darkness. Also, my desire or ideal grows in the darkness of my subconscious mind. In a little while, like the seed, it comes above the ground or becomes objectified as a condition or circumstances or an event that I live. Infinite intelligence governs and guides me in all ways. I meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, loyal, and of a good report. I think on these things, and God's power is my thought of good. I am at peace, always. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. I am still and I am at peace. My heart and my mind are motivated by the spirit of goodness, 
truth and beauty. My thought is now on the presence of God within me. This stills always working for me. Jesus said, Thy faith had made thee whole. I positively believe in the healing power of God within me. My conscious and subconscious mind are perfect agreement. I accept the statement of truth which is positively to affirm. The words I speak are words of spirit and they are truth. I now decree that the healing power of God is transforming my whole body, making me whole, pure, and perfect. I believe with a deep inner certitude that my prayer of faith is being manifested now. I am guided by the wisdom of God in all matters. The love of God flows in transcendent beauty and loveliness into my mind and body. Transforming, restoring, and energizing every atom of my being. I sense the peace that passes understanding. God's glory surrounds me, and I rest forever in the everlasting arms. Thank you. It is a movement of I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and all of my affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me, bringing to me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my body. Being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business and profession is a divine activity, and since it is God's business, it is successful and prosperous. I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body, mind, and all of my affairs. I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life we call God. God dwells at the center of my being. God is peace. This peace enfolds me in its arms now. There is a deep feeling of security, vitality, and strength underlying this peace. This inner sense of peace in which I now dwell is a silent, brooding presence of God. The love and the light of God watch over me as a loving mother watches over the sleeping child. Deep in my heart is the holy presence that is my peace, my strength, and my source of all that is good and supplies. All fear has vanished. I see God in all people. I see God manifesting in all things. I am an instrument of the divine presence. I now release this inner peace as it flows through my entire being, releasing and dissolving any and all problems. This is the peace that passes and surpasses all understanding or obstruction to the realization of my I now let go of everything I enter into the realization of peace harmony and joy God is all over all through all and all in all I lead the triumphant life because I know that divine love guides directs sustains and heals me the Immaculate Presence of God is at the very center of my being. It is made manifest now in every atom of my body. There can be no delay, no impediment or obstruction to the realization of my heart's desire. The almighty power of God is now moving on my behalf. None shall stay its hand and say unto it, What dost thou? 
I know what I want. My desire is clear cut and definite. I accept it completely in my mind. I remain faithful to the end. I have entered into the silent inner knowing that my prayer is answered and my mind is at peace.